Did you know that the Earth's gravitational force is stronger at the poles than at the equator? Why is that so? Well, there are two main reasons. The shape of the Earth and its rotation. Consider the shape of our Earth. Contrary to popular belief, it's not a perfect sphere. It's an oblate spheroid, meaning it's slightly flattened at the poles and bulges at the equator. This bulging is a direct result of the Earth's rotation. Picture it this way. As the Earth spins, the centrifugal force pushes outward at the equator. This outward push counteracts some of the gravitational force, an effect that is more pronounced at the equator, where the distance from the Earth's center is greatest. Conversely, this effect is weaker at the poles, where the distance is smallest. Hence, gravity is stronger at the poles. Next, let's delve into the Earth's rotation. Our planet spins around its axis once every 24 hours. This rotation creates a centrifugal force that is directed outward from the axis of rotation. This force is strongest at the equator, where the Earth is widest, and it decreases as we move towards the poles. At the poles, the centrifugal force is essentially zero, meaning the gravitational force is not counteracted by this force as much as at the equator. Consequently, gravity is stronger at the poles. Now, let's not forget the Earth's motion around the Sun and its self-rotation. The Earth orbits the Sun in an elliptical path, completing one orbit approximately every 365 and a quarter days. This motion, along with the tilt of the Earth's axis, is responsible for the changing seasons. The Earth also rotates about its axis once every 24 hours, causing the cycle of day and night. This rotation, as we've seen, influences the planet's shape by flattening it at the poles and causing it to bulge at the equator. In summary, the Earth's shape and rotation work in tandem to create the gravitational and centrifugal forces that influence the distribution of gravity across its surface. This is why gravity is stronger at the poles than at the equator. A fascinating testament to the intricate and awe-inspiring workings of our planet.